your channel bartending at home with John and Kim. So today we're going to be making two cocktails featuring Aperol. It's a herbal liqueur from Italy and it's, it's quite light and really enjoyable. Yeah, so um, it's a nice alternative if you don't like Campari. It's a lighter <laughs> version of it. Okay, so today I'll be making the paper plane, which was made by Sam Ross, who also created the penicillin cocktail. It's a very refreshing cocktail, and it's kind of dangerous. You don't realize how much alcohol is actually in it, so it can be yes, yes, yeah. dangerous things happen. And I will be making, I don't know. Oh, I will be making the naked and famous. Uh, it's a cocktail created by Joaquim Simo from uh, Death & Company. We actually found this cocktail online, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be in our Death & Co. Uh, cocktail book, but we just haven't looked yet. Yay. So if you'd like to see how this cocktail is made, please stay tuned. Start off with 3 quarter of an ounce of Mezcal, 3 quarter of an ounce of Aperol, and 3 quarter of an ounce of yellow chartreuse. Lastly, we have three quarter an ounce of lime juice. Oh wow, that's juicy lime. Add into ice and shake it. And we're gonna garnish with a lime wheel. Alright, so for the paper plain, we're going to do three quarters of an ounce of bourbon, three quarters of an ounce of Aperol, and three quarters of an ounce of Amaro. We don't have the right Amaro for the traditional paper plain, so we're going to see how this one turns out. Three quarters of an ounce of fresh lemon juice. And I'm going to add it to a shaker with ice. And then we're going to serve that in a cool glass. And garnish with a lemon twist. And there you have it, we have our naked and famous and paper planes. So let's see how it stands. Cheers! Mm, mine's like really refreshing, but the mezcal still comes through really nicely. And I mean, we don't drink mezcal cocktails that often, but they're so delicious. They add such a nice smokiness that uh, a very different smokiness than your scotch and your bourbon too. Mm -hmm. And the paper plane again, so refreshing. I can't even tell that there's a lot of alcohol in here. Ooh, I like it. <laughs> yeah, the men's cow is really nice. This is like super easy drinking. Um, actually, it tastes a bit like the brown derby. Um, yeah. I like the brown derby better though, just because there is that fresh grapefruit juice. There's a lot of it in there. But it's kind of nice and refreshing. Yeah, so both of these drinks are really refreshing, really boozy. So they both they both have 2.25 ounces of alcohol in them. Really easy to make and really easy to remember. It's sim They're similar to the last word, not in ingredients and things like that, in terms of measurements. So it's just all three quarters of an ounce, super easy. Very easy to remember. So. Yeah. And if you want a boozier or lighter, you can always, as long as you keep the parts equal, you can you can increase it or reduce it. Yeah, if you want, you can make it one ounce each if you want, if you, if you really, really want to. And that is all for today, guys. Thank you for tuning in. And don't forget to like and subscribe and comment below on what cocktails you would like to see next. Remember, you will never succeed if you're afraid to try. Be adventurous, my friends, and drink responsibly. Love me when I